Hello everybody, welcome back. So today we will understand how can we encrypt passwords in your application, in your Spring Boot application using application.properties or using application.yml. So what is JSEPT? So JSEPT is basically a simple Java encryption based library. It, it is basically used for encryption and decryption of any text or any passwords that you can that you use. So JSEPT is basically used in Java. So if you are using Spring Boot, there is a JSEPT flavor of Spring Boot as well, which is known as JSEPT Spring Boot. So we will see how we can integrate JSEPT Spring Boot basically in this video and see how you can integrate and encrypt your password. So the first step when you start doing it is basically add your JSEPT dependencies. So I have JSEPT dependencies over here. So I'm using 3.0.4. I'll just copy and paste it in my pom.xml as a dependency. So I have just pasted it as a dependency in my pom.xml. Now there is additional library that you want to, that you need to add. The library is JSEPT Maven plugin. So this one, I need to use it under my build property. So under build, you will have plugins and under plugins, you need to add your plugin. So this is the JSEP Maven plugin. So once you have added these two dependencies in your application, you are good to go. So we will now start integrating the JSEP. Now let's go ahead and try and encrypt my password in this case my database password is root so i will try to encrypt this string root and put it in my application properties and run it so along with that there are few configuration that i have to do basically these are the two configurations that i need to add by default going forward with jasip 3.0.4 if you are using 3.0.4 you need to mandatory specify these properties earlier this was not mandatory so that was one important point that I just wanted to highlight. So now let's go ahead and encrypt this password root. So I'll go to my console in the same path. I'll just copy paste this command. So this command is basically the JSIP Maven plugin command, which basically encrypts my string, whatever string I want. So I have given this string as root and that string will be encrypted using my password for Glissminds. So this is the encryption password that I am asking JSIPT to use while encrypting my property or any string which, which is basically root. So now I'll just run it. So once I run it, if you see, this creates an encrypted version of the password. So this is an encrypted version of my string root. So I'll just copy then copy this and put it over here. It just misses a E. It is encrypted. So now once this password is added, your property is now encrypted. Now let's go ahead and run it. So in order to run this application, you need to specify your program argument. So I have updated my Jesse password, right? So this password I need to tell to my ID as well, like while running pass this as a VM argument and JSEPT will read this password and try and decrypt this using this password in runtime. So this is how JSEPT will work internally. So now click on run and OK. Just click on run. I'm just restarting. So if you see, this is basically running. Now I'll just check it. So if you see, it is returning me the data. So it is now able to connect with the database and able to get me the results. So now I will show you another way with which you can easily encrypt or decrypt, encrypt your passwords on any strings in your application. So what you need to do is, 
the first thing that you need to do in this step is basically you are tell, telling JSIP to decrypt it. Basically, when it's trying to run in the application, it will decrypt it and run it. So what I'm telling JSIP is you, this is my placeholder and I am passing this as a string. So JSIP will encrypt it and put it in and replace it in application.properties directly without copy pasting like the way I did earlier. So let's see a direct way of doing it. So this is my application.properties. I have specified the placeholder and, and I have specified the value that I need to decrypt. So I'll do the same thing over here as well. Let's decrypt both. Earlier I have done only for one, right? So in this case, I just need to run this specified command and this will replace my application.properties with the updated value. So if you see, this has replaced my application.properties with the updated encrypted values. So JASIPT will do it automatically if you're not specifying the encrypted value. So now let's go ahead and try to run this, I'll just stop my server and run it. So if you're not specifying the few of the values, JASIPT is taking all these values by default. You can also specify these values in your properties, in your application or properties just to make JSIP a bit more configurable. So if you see, my application is able to start now and I'll just see if he's able to get the data. So yes, we are able to get this data using this method as well. So this is the second way you can do it. So now let's say you, uh, le let's go ahead and try and check if you have an application.yml file, how would you do that? Now let's say I have an application.yml in my properties and I want to encrypt the string root and root which is my username and password for the database. So how would I do that? So this is the same way you need to do. You need to specify the placeholder and the value. So I have specified the placeholder and the value. Now I'll just go to my console and run this command. Oops, sorry, it's not copying. Let's recopy again and just type application dot question dot yml. So I'll just run my command. So if you see, this is able to encrypt my username and password. So this is how you do it either for application YML, either for your test or properties, either you're for application or properties, any profiling that you want to do, you can specify using the properties and run it directly using the path of the class, path of the file, sorry. Yeah, so, so now uh, the same way that I have told earlier, we have to pass a placeholder and pass on the values. So I have created an application.yml and give the data in the proper format that, that is required. Like you need to give a placeholder and then you need to specify the values. So I have given both and I have started, uh, cop I have started running it. So now you need to comment this application properties. If you're not commenting, it will not run. So now let's go ahead and try to run this. So JASIPT will encrypt this password. So let's go ahead and run this. So I'm just running this command. So there is one point that you need to note is if you're running this without the JASIPT plugin path, JASIPT will by default look for application or properties and it will try to encrypt that application or properties. Now, if 
I need to encrypt any application.yml or any application.test or anything apart from application.properties I need to specify the path over here in the JSIP plugin path so now let's go ahead and run it so once you run it this will encrypt your values which we have given in the placeholders so it is it has encrypted both of them now let's see if it works so I'll just try and run so let me verify if my database connectivity is also fine so yes it returns me the list of users so this looks good now now let's go ahead and install a custom configuration apart from the default ones so we have seen these are the default configurations that are being applied earlier so now we will use a custom configuration so in order to use a custom configuration you have to define a bean so let's generate the encrypted password first using our custom configuration so i have just written a sample test file which I have given my password as my secret password an algorithm is quite different from what we have used earlier thus IB generator class is also different a random generator is there it is a salt generator class name provider name pool size everything I have given now I'm just trying to encrypt my password so this is my root password so I'll just try and run this and see what is the output to encrypt the password so I have encrypting the password using a different password right now so if you see it must print somewhere yeah this is the password that it is printing so I'll just use this password and go to my application.yml and now my placeholder will be enc because the password is already encrypted right now so enc put these things right so now that we have created the password using different configurations the one that I have specified in my application.yml earlier with the jazz shaped and the default one basically I'll just show you what I'm trying to say so this one will not work right now if, even if I pass with this these things will not work until or unless I pass the same property so I am just ignoring this I will just remove it for now and pass on this property only and see how can how JSEPT can read this and decrypt it so this is my password now I have to create a sample conf separate configuration file so the configuration file is basically it tells JSEPT or it tells Spring Boot how we are going to use the configuration so this is my password that I have provided and these are the my algorithms there are several properties that you can put so I have given several different properties and return the encryptor the JASIP default encryptor so now while running the application JASIP will take out this configuration and try and decrypt the password that I have provided in my application.yml in the runtime now there is one more update that I need to do I need to go to my application and update the password so this is a secret password that I have updated so now once I update the password similarly now I will go ahead and try and run it so once I run it so the application should get started properly yeah it is started properly and then I will just see if I am able to connect to the database yes I am able to connect to the database right so this is the way you can do it now let's say you have a password that you have provided earlier and now you want to change it so there is an option to re-encrypt as well so in JSEPT you can re-encrypt passwords so you can use this command to re-encrypt suppose let's say you want to change the password now so you can do that as well you can do there are different options that JSEPT provides so you can also encrypt or load your different password as well like your different um, flyweb database and everything that configuration also it gives you now the important aspect that I'm trying to tell you in JSEPT is if you're not 
if you are using auto configuration you need not provide at the rate encryptable so in most of the places i have seen people by default uses at the rate enable encryptable properties you do not need to specify it until or unless you have not specified and enable configuration auto configuration or at the rate spring boot application for your entire spring boot environment right and suppose let's say you want to use a custom one so you can use an encryptable property source so at the rate encryptable property source if you see this is basically used for additional properties let's say you are not you want to add something different then you can update this property sorry i think that's it for now uh, if you have any question you can specify in the comments i'll be happy to help you